right, Kirky Squad, welcome back to another episode with Kirkpatrick Outdoors. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a fun day of fishing. We're back on the Potomac, uh, one of our favorite Great spots. Spot. And it's been on fire lately. So we didn't want to move to a different spot, so we're trying this again. Uh, today we are doing a fun challenge. We are going to find out if Jello chicken is better than Kool-Aid chicken. We had someone tell us to try Kool-Aid and that it's better than Jello. So we're going to test it out, never use Kool-Aid chicken. Yeah, so it should be fun. We each have three different flavors. I have for the Kool-Aid, blue raspberry lemonade, lemonade, and then cherry. I will be using Kool-Aid on all my rods. And then I will be using Jello on all my rods. And I have the berry blue, the strawberry, and peach. So this should be exciting. Four hour challenge. Let's get baited up and get our rods out there. All right. All right guys, so we got our line from the water. Elizabella's husband is here fishing. He is. He's using some different baits, so uh, off in the corner, if he catches anything, we'll uh, show the fish to you. Yeah, he's using some, not the baits we're using, something completely different yeah. and something off the wall, try some new baits. So, please hit that thumbs up. That notification bell, if you subscribe, we hope you do. Yeah. Holy crap. and a blooper at the same time. I know, right? Couldn't get it right out of the crop holder. I just wanted to stay in there. Feels kind of small. Does it? Yeah. It's already swimming. Feels pretty small. First one on the board here, and it was with the peach jello chicken. Get back in the water. Ram away too. All right guys, I'm just gonna show you how I put the chicken on my hook. It seems to work well for me, so when I cast, it doesn't go flying off. I'm just gonna put the piece on once, and then I'm gonna put it back through again, and that way it stays on there. And I think very few times have I had it really fly off, and that's why I really send it. But nine times out of ten, it stays on the hook just like that. Something shredded my bait. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. All right, just the hang, rod holder. Yeah, another one on. Must be nice. It feels small as well, but I'll take it. I want to put up a little fight. <laughs> but at least the rod holder didn't kick my butt this time. is on the peach uh, straw or uh, jello chicken again so so far peach is in the lead so two for peach two for peach I have my home deep 
folks said, oh, there you go. Well, good luck. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. There's Thank the you. guitar. Probably was. No, I got one on. Yes. All right. Another one on the peach uh, jello. Oh, oh, oh man. Describes oh. <coughs> my day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like the peach jello was the winner. Yeah, I'm surprised that the strawberry did not have to do anything today. The bite was bad today. Well, trust me, the bite from the heat, it's 100 something degrees out here. The spawn is still going on, so the bite was definitely slow. But I did not think it would be slow, as slow as it was for most of the baits. Oh no. But still, Jello was the winner. I mean, Jello, I mean, Kool Aid, I think, would catch fish. It's obvious. I had three, four good takedowns. Yeah. But you'll, yeah hurts uh -huh. and at the end I caught a fish but lost it as I was trying to bring it up yeah. which you'll see that you see that too so yeah hopefully you like the content we put out today um definitely wasn't up to par what we wanted as far as the fish um but it happens I mean it's the realism of fishing right oh yeah not guaranteed and to catch every time all the time I do want to apologize that we weren't as upbeat as we normally are we are actually suffering through uh the end stages of COVID yeah um we're not contagious anymore but we still have the effects. That's we why we haven't been dropping videos the last week. So we decided to finally push ourselves out, out here today. We are wore out. Yeah. We are beat. But uh, It's kicking our butt, but we uh, wanted to come out and get you guys something and for us to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. So we were losing our vocal cords and, and <laughs> just, yeah, and with the heat and being sick. Yeah. And trying not to cough too. <laughs> but we are getting better. Our next video will be coming in the next few days. So that should be good and a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll be back to ourselves in that video. I hope so. Um, so as always, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because we have a lot of fun content and we're gonna put out two videos a week at least. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, and I say our goal, I wanna put it out there, our goal, because we love fishing and the outdoors so much and we love YouTube. I mean, YouTube has become our passion that we want to go big. We wanna do it for a living, full time. We want to be the Mr. Beast of the fishing world. That would be amazing. That way we can give back to people while we're out here enjoying life. Right. So that is our goal. So we're trying to get better, better equipment, and just keep having fun because we love the outdoors and we're not quitting for nobody. So, till the next one. Kirkpatrick's, Kirkpatrick's out. out.